Hi, welcome to the tutorial about uh, adding Bluetooth to your system here. We're on Arch Labs version 3.6, soon 0.4 will be released. But I'm making a tutorial about uh, Bluetooth. So, what have we done? Let's uh, move this over here. We have this article on Eric Dubois.pe How to add Bluetooth support to Arch Labs for boost Bluetooth headphones. I have to do it anyway, since I have one of course. And this is the lines, these are the lines we're gonna need to add Bluetooth support. Uh, not everybody needs Bluetooth, so that's why it's not on the ISO. So uh, you have to add these lines into the, uh, the terminal. But uh, it's also nice to know that I have a GitHub with my name here, Eric Dubois, and I've called this Arch Labs Nemesis, meaning it uh, gathers everything that's not installed on the ISO. So these are all the extras that are not included that I want to have personally. So these uh, carry all my little programs like Vivaldi, Temp, Spotify, stuff that I need on top of the ISO from Arch Labs. Here you will find the same thing here, Boost Bluetooth uh, headset. And we see here that we have all the same lines and uh, the same lines that we see here. So anyway, um, I've done, I run, run these things here, I run this line, or you download it here, and uh, you run it from here, clone, download, download zip, run it from there. The result is when you reboot, you have this little icon up here, and then you can tell them to, um, well, to search for it. So you have to press a button to the right here, I believe it is, and you have to hold it in one direction. In my case, it's the right direction then it's uh, telling you to, to, be, to be able to match it and then you click on it and then you wait till they're matched let's listen what he says she says actually you have to hold it for quite a long time seven eight nine I cleared everything. My boot list, uh, my list is uh, cleared, and now I'm gonna connect again, and that's it. Well, I have three Bluetooth uh, computers around, so that's why I had to clear everything. So now I don't hear any music as of yet. It's connected, which is good. It's great actually. Now we press Windows V or Super V, and we have this. Pavu control or control program. The best thing is to maximize it a little bit too big for my taste. So I'll make it a bit bigger like so. So play back. Nothing is here available. What we should do now is shut down the headphone. So I'm disconnected again. Then I'm restarting my headphone. On my headphone there is this switch. Yeah? I'm connected again it says. And now let's go and look. We have here the Boost Com Quiet Comfort profile. We need to have this one, A2TP. And of course, I need some, some kind of program to run. And Spotify is not yet, uh, in, not, not, uh, yet logged in. But anyway, trust me, uh, everything is now set the way it should be. Output device is correct. Uh, input device. And configuration so we need to have a2d2 and then you can listen to your music show you that everything is now connected and everything works so all you have to do is some 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 fiddling about with this uh, switch here switch it off switch it back on and then go and look for the volume control or the pavu control as it's called and look for the configuration to set it to high fidelity all right enjoy